welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I'm so excited that you guys came over to check out today's video. It is Wednesday, so it is what I eat in a day on WW. I can't wait to share all of my food throughout today with you guys. A little Diesel and Lola, a few fun things thrown in, sprinkled in here and there, and this dinner recipe was amazing. So definitely check out the description box below for the recipe. It was so good. So let's jump right into today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. in the night thinking how we used to be way back in time in time barefoot on the grass open skies i can feel it every time i close my eyes So here's this morning's breakfast. I'm so excited. So I have one of my Ezekiel English muffins here. These are four smart points for the entire English muffin. And on that, on my food scale, I measured out one tablespoon of the Trader Joe's organic peanut butter. It's literally peanuts and salt, so really good option. So I have one tablespoon of that for three smart points. I have one large egg with one egg white for zero, and then I have some Organic raspberries, you guys, these are from Costco. These are the best raspberries. They are amazing. So if you can get some organic raspberries at your local Costco, highly recommend. So those are zero points. So it is seven smart points total for this morning's breakfast. This dog of mine, he was just rolling on his back on the basketball court. He's so weird. And then the little one, she was out there. Oh, I don't see her. So weird. Oh, there she is. She's out in the back 40. These two, they're so cute. My Thrive order is here. It's a good day. So I wanted to give you guys an update on Thrive. This order shipped really fast within a couple of days of me ordering it. And again, on my doorstep in a couple of days. So less than a week, I had my stuff. So Thrive is caught up. So shipping should be back to pretty much normal. So if you wanna be part of the Thrive market, you do pay a membership fee. It's really affordable. I want to say it's about $59 a year, but you get $20 worth of free product of your choice when you sign up for a year membership. So basically it's going to cost you $39 and you get free shipping and free goodies with all your orders. I love Thrive. I find it to be the most affordable for organic whole real food and they have thousands of products to choose from. I am going to be doing a all my favorite things from Thrive and some of my other online grocery stores video, so stay tuned for that. But let me show you what I got this time from Thrive. First, I picked up some organic sprouted spelt flour. Now, I can't find flour really at all in my area. It's very, very far and few between. I can't find organic, which is all I buy, just because flour is heavily sprayed with glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. So all of my flowers are always organic and I just can't find any. So Thrive, the only one they had was sprouted, sprouted spelt flour. That's a mouthful. So I grabbed that. Also, I went ahead and picked up some Celtic sea salt. Now this is the best, most natural sea salt for cooking. It's these big granules. They're kind of a gray color. This is honestly the best salt. This is the best option for salt that there is. So I went ahead and picked that up just because I'm almost out of my pink Himalayan. And this is just a better option for salt restocked my thrive organic rolled oats you guys know i love these they're organic again oats are heavily sprayed with glyphosate as well so you always want to pick those up organic decided to give the true roots red quinoa a try so pretty i've been loving quinoa and i've been hearing really good things about the red quinoa so i wanted to give it a try also i have found a new love for buffalo sauce and you guys know that i hauled the franks buffalo wing sauce in my grocery haul and did not like the ingredients at all. So I heard from one of my amazing subscribers about this 
wing sauce. So I went ahead and picked this up. The ingredients are really good in this buffalo sauce. I mean, that's it for ingredients. So nothing questionable. In fact, it's made with extra virgin olive oil. Now this one does have some calories, which I'm not really that worried about it or points. So I'm excited to have this because for some reason I have been a wing sauce fan. So Noble made by New Primal. So thank you for whoever suggested this wing sauce. Also, I decided to give this a try. I should have looked a little closer into it before adding it to my cart, but this is the Thrive Ghee Oil Spray. So it's a mixture of ghee and coconut oil, but yeah, that's happening. Lola, you playing? Yeah, you squeaking your baby when I'm filming. Anyways, so this is a mix of ghee and coconut oil, which is not the problem. The problem is, is that this has propellant. So I am not an advocate of using cooking spray with any propellant. So you can see that it says that right there. So I probably will not repurchase, but I wanted to give it a try. So kind of glad I got it just to try it. Also, I picked up a big jug of the Thrive Organic Maple Syrup. This is just a better price than buying the jars at Trader Joe's or even Costco. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I've been using maple syrup a lot as sweeteners for a good whole food sweetener. Yep, yeah, Lola. And then I have the Thrive Market Organic Coconut Cream, extra thick. I like to have this in quinoa bowls, smoothie bowls, and in smoothies in general. I really like a little bit of coconut cream in there. And then this is a new find. These are the Lara Bar Kid in Cinnamon Swirl. These are made with just nine ingredients. And by the way, Troy saved the day and took the dogs in the bedroom to play. Gluten-free, no high fructose corn syrup, non-GMO. Here is your nutritional information. Of course, the points are on the screen. Pretty good ingredients. I don't love cane sugar, but it's made with all coconut oil, which is great and honey. So I'm excited to have these as just a extra little snack. And then I do love Purely Elizabeth in general. I love the granola. I love these bars. So last time I had the chocolate bars that my husband bought me for a taste test video that you'll be seeing coming out soon. But this is the Purely Elizabeth vanilla and almond butter. These granola bars are so good. I mean, so incredibly delicious. They have really, really good ingredients in them. I want to say they're six points, but here is your ingredient. So again, just really, really good ingredients and they are so good. You can't go wrong with any of the Purely Elizabeth products and Thrive has a ton. I also picked up another bag of my Lily's chocolate chips. Cheapest price I can find them is Thrive, about $5 a bag, which is literally the cheapest that I can find. I pay about $6.99 to $7.99 in my local store. So grabbed those. Also picked this up for my husband. This is the Tasty by Organic Jasmine Rice. This is one of those little microwavable pouches. I don't love that this has oil in it that isn't expeller pressed, but he does not like quinoa. He really doesn't like brown rice. So I wanted to have this on hand for a night that I have rice so that I can give this to him instead of the other rice options. And lastly, two more packets of the Thrive Taco Seasoning. I love this seasoning, you guys. You would be shocked at the ingredients in traditional taco seasoning, like absolutely shocked. This one has excellent ingredients. It does have cane sugar. It is organic, luckily, and it's a very, very small amount. It has a total of one sugar with nothing added. So really not too bad when it comes to sugar and really, really good ingredients in this taco seasoning. So highly recommend. So that's my Thrive order. And again, down in the description box is the link to head over and join the Thrive Market and take advantage of the $20 in free groceries. Leave it down in the comments if you guys become Thrive members so we can talk about some of our favorite things. So here's my lunch for today. I'm having my bootable from my meal prep, you guys. This looks incredible. So what I did is warmed it up with just the quinoa, got the quinoa nice and warm, added my roasted chickpeas, my greens and carrot mixture, and this is my homemade avocado dressing. You guys, I'm so excited for this. So excited. This recipe is on my website and was shown in my meal prep that went up on Monday. So definitely check it out. Really, really good, delicious, hearty lunch. So this is going to be seven smart points on the blue plan. The points for the rest of the plans are as follows. Three smart points on the purple plan and nine on the green. Now I may have something sweet. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna dig into my bootable. So I did decide to have dessert after I had lunch and I decided to go with a Built Bar just for that extra pop of protein. I think I'm gonna go on a walk. So this will be a nice 
little snack to have prior to going on a walk and then i think i may ride my four-wheeler a little bit later if i do i'll take you guys with me but this is the peanut butter built bar this is actually one of my very favorites i really do like the nut based bars just because they do have that little extra bit of protein this one has 170 calories 20 grams of protein seven fiber three sugar which is not bad at all i love that about built bar and seven grams of fat and this one has little chunks of organic peanut in it it's so good and it's four smart points but this the nut based bars keep me a lot more full and if i am going to eat one before or after a workout i generally will pick the nut base so like i said i think i'm going to go on a walk so this will tide me through until i have a snack a little bit later this afternoon if you are interested in picking up the built bars they do range from three to four points the nut based bars with the exception of the coconut almond are four points all the rest are free you can use my code here on the screen for 10 percent off and free shipping if you are new to built bar there is a special link down for you in the description box if you go through that designated link you'll get ten dollars off your first order that makes these built bars a steal so if you're interested you do have a couple of options for discounts also save the code because you can use it over and over so I'm gonna enjoy my little dessert after lunch and then let's head out for a walk. Hey guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and head for that walk that we talked about. It is an absolutely beautiful day today. So sunglasses in tow, I think I'm gonna bring my phone, listen to a little bit of Pandora and I'm gonna go for a walk. So I'm gonna show you guys my Fitbit before my walk and show you my Fitbit after. It's about a 30 minute walk with a mega steep hill. So it's a good workout for a walk. So here is my Fitbit before my walk, about 2,400, almost 2,500 steps. So let's head out for a walk. Mom's gonna go on a walk, guys. So you can have a treat, there's for you. And where are you at? Oh, there you are, babe. There's for you. And I am back. So there's my steps after my walk, awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and have some kombucha. Again, I just got back from my walk. This is the Trilogy. I actually don't count kombucha. It's 50 calories for the entire bottle and I only drink about half the bottle at a time. So for me, the health benefits outweigh the little bit of calories or points. So I'm gonna sip on some kombucha. Hey guys, sorry about the sunlight. Woo, I'm windblown. I am out riding my four wheeler here behind my house. So I'm gonna show you guys my house. And then I'm gonna show you guys kind of where we ride and give you kind of a snapshot into where we like to ride our four-wheeler. It's literally right behind our backyard, so it's pretty awesome. So I'm on a four-wheeler ride. So this is right behind our house. So right there, let me zoom in for you. Okay, right there is my house. So this is just awesome because we like to ride right behind our house. So let's go for a little ride. Open skies, I can feel it every time I close my eyes. My eyes, yeah. Can you remember when we were young and free? Like queens up on a throne. Never surrender. I'm gonna make a protein shake slash smoothie for my afternoon snack. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna put in there. So I'm gonna do about a half of a cup of this forager cashew milk a half of a cup is one smart point i might put a little bit more but a half a cup is usually about what i need and then i just fill the rest with water to get the right consistency in here i have about a half of a cup of these organic mixed berries i have a little bag of frozen kale and then i'm going to do half of a frozen banana and then for my boost of protein i'm going to use the vanilla less naked way i love this protein powder this was one of the top rated ones in my protein powder video. Speaking of protein powders, I found a new one that I ordered. I can't wait to share it with you guys. It is clean as clean can be, but I want to make sure it tastes good. This one is delicious. So this one actually has 25 grams of protein, five sugar, eight carbs, 150 calories, or three smart points for a scoop. There's your ingredients. Very, very minimal and made with coconut sugar, which is awesome. So I'm gonna do one scoop of that for three points. So my smoothie slash protein shake will be four smart points. So let me get it, start getting it put together and then I'll show you the final product. 
All right, so here is this beauty about to go on to my magic bullet. I did also want to let you guys know that this protein powder, I'll link it down below for you guys. I found it on Amazon and it was the best price. So I'll link that down below. So let's make this protein. Yum, there she is. So this is my four smart point smoothie. It's amazing. I love that that powder mixed with the milk gives it this milk shake type of consistency. And then the berries and the banana just really add the sweetness. And literally, you guys, you can't taste the kale. Always put greens of some sort in your smoothie. You can't taste it, but you get that little extra dose of green. So I'm going to enjoy my afternoon snack. For tonight's dinner, I'm making turkey sloppy joe pasta. I'm so excited about this dinner. I did half the majority of the recipe. I will be putting the original recipe as well as any modifications that I made on my website. The link to my website is down below. So let me show you what's in tonight's dinner. First, you're going to need some pasta. And let me just tell you how excited I am that I just unboxed this not too long ago. This is the Fiber Gourmet Pasta. You guys know I've been using this for over a year now, and I love this pasta. The taste, the texture, the way it cooks is better than any store-bought pasta. And my husband only wants this pasta. So this is all that I buy. Well, it used to be two ounces of dry pasta for three smart points. So they redid their packaging and I believe some portion of their nutritional information or their ingredients. So now you can actually have two ounces dry for two smart points. You guys, store-bought pasta is five to six smart points for two ounces. That is insane that this is less than half and this pasta, I'm telling you, it's so good. And what is awesome is it's 100 calories versus 210, 25 grams of fiber versus two grams in regular pasta, 17 net carbs versus 41 net carbs, and Fiber Gourmet has seven grams of protein per two ounce serving. So it keeps you full. It's a no brainer. It's the best pasta. You do buy this off of the Net Nutrition website. There's a link down in the description box for Net Nutrition. Click the link in the search bar and our fiber gourmet and you can pick up the pasta. I recommend going under the low carb search option and taking a look at what they have. Those are a lot of the WW friendly items. And I will be doing a video here in the future where I share with you my must haves from my favorite online grocer. So definitely pick up fiber gourmet. So we're gonna use the rotini, some sucre and gold brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, red wine vinegar. You're going to need tomato paste. I am doing minced onion versus raw onion because I don't want big chunks. We, you guys know we like the smaller pieces. You'll need tomato sauce and diced tomatoes. One pound of 99% ground turkey. Now, if you use a less lean cut, your points are going to change. You'll also need some salt and pepper mushrooms and some carrots. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. All right, so to start tonight's dinner, we're making it all in one pot. So how easy is that? First thing you wanna do is go ahead and spray your big stock pot or Dutch oven, whatever you're choosing to use with some nonstick cooking spray. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add the pound of 99% ground turkey, and we're gonna let this start cooking. Once your turkey is cooked through and you've kind of broken it up with your spoon, it's time to add in our veggies. So I diced up that whole container of mushrooms and a bunch of the little baby carrots. And then I'm also going to add some minced onion in place of regular onion. So about a quarter of a cup. And then we're gonna let this cook until our veggies are softened. So just a couple of minutes. Veggies are cooking away. So we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of red wine vinegar and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Stir that up and let these continue to soften. Once your veggies have started to soften, we're gonna go ahead and add in a couple of pinches of pepper and a good sized pinch of salt. And then we're ready to add in quite a bit of garlic. I have a heaping spoonful here. And we're going to be adding in one tablespoon of brown sugar. This is the Sucrin Gold. It's my favorite. We're also going to add our entire can of tomato sauce. 
and our entire can of diced tomatoes as well. Now these ones, I the only ones I could find at the store and they have chilies. So I'm hoping that they're not too spicy for us. We shall see. And lastly, a quarter cup of tomato paste. Give that a stir. We're gonna bring this to a boil, pop the lid on and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. This is looking amazing. I forgot. We're also going to add three cups of water. That would have been bad to forget that. That's what's gonna cook the pasta down the line. So now we're gonna bring this to a boil, pop a lid on, reduce the heat and let it simmer. So our sauce has been simmering about 20 minutes. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in the package of the pasta. We're going to stir that and let it simmer about another 20 to 25 minutes or until our pasta is cooked through and it's nice and thick. This looks so good. So I'm gonna let this sit for just a couple minutes, plate it up. We're gonna to top it with a little Parmesan, some veggies, and I'll be back to share tonight's dinner and smart points. All right, so here is my dinner for tonight. This looks absolutely amazing. And you guys, this is super low smart points using the Fiber Gourmet pasta. So with the Fiber Gourmet and the 99% turkey on the blue plan and the purple plan, this is one smart point. That's it, because the only point is the pasta. I went ahead and added some Parmesan cheese, so mine is an additional point. So mine's actually two smart points. Now, if you're on the green plan, you do have to count for the 99% ground beef. So it would be three smart points on the green plan, and that is one sixth of the recipe. I can't wait to dig in. For dessert tonight, I'm gonna have a Cleo bar. This is in strawberry Greek yogurt bar. I find these at Walmart. They are about a dollar a piece. You can also buy these off of the Cleo bar website. These are really good. So they're like a Greek yogurt bar. To me, it tastes a lot like cheesecake. Really good ingredients. They are six smart points. They do have eight grams of protein. I love them. The vanilla is my favorite. And then second is the strawberry. So this is my dessert and all I'm having for the day. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. We had such a fun day today. I love kind of taking you guys along with me throughout my day. Diesel and Lola get to make their once a week plus appearance here on my YouTube channel. And that recipe, you guys, again, for dinner was so good. It is linked down in the description box as well as the link to check out my website where all of my recipes will be, as well as the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of that community as well. It's such a great supportive place to be. Also in the description box are links to my favorite things and discount codes, just a wealth of information. So check out that description box. If you're new, I'd love for you to stick around and join my channel. We have a great channel here, lots of great people. So make sure that you're hitting that little subscribe button and that bell so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Thumbs up this one. If you love what I eat in a days, leave your comments down below. I can't wait to read them. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope you're doing well, staying healthy and safe. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.